All right, guys. Welcome back to another Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, before we start this episode up, uh, I just want to give a shout out to all seven of my new subscribers to my channel. Uh, appreciate you guys. And uh, I actually linked, I have an eBay store and uh, I linked it down in the description below. So if y'all want to go over there and support your boy. Yeah, y'all want to go over there and support your boy. Uh, links down in the description. Um, but with that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this. And Oh, and I was going to play this weekend, but... We're renovating our house right now, so uh, it was a lot of commotion going on, so I wasn't able to do that because so much commotion. Bowman, this is Nomad. We're All right, so in the last episode, I think we was going to go over here and uh, we was going to... Let's just try to get these skill points and then we'll go from there. On the ground in Okoro, what have you got for us? Okoro is the heart of cocaine production in Bolivia. The network there was built by El Yayo and predates Santa Blanca by more than a decade. When El Yayo joined the cartel and became the boss of production, he handed Okoro off to his grandson, who goes by the name El Emisario. The Emissary. He spends most of his time outside the province, rubbing shoulders with politicians in Sucre and greasing the wheels for the cartel. Not really his job, but the guy's yeah, something and, to uh, and he figures this is the best way to make his grandfather proud. El Yayo lets it slide so long as Okoro continues to produce. Fact is, the network is so well established that it pretty much runs itself. El Emisario's assistant handles the rest. Get in there, gather intel on Okoro's production sites, and start fucking things up. That'll put pressure on El Emissario to come back to Okoro and get things back on track before Granddad finds out. When that happens, we grab him and use him to get to El Yeo. Getting an upload yeah. from Bowman. Looks like she's got some intel on El Emissario. Alright, so, uh... In vehicles, I've been using my, uh, Xbox One controller. And then on foot, I've been using mouse and keyboard. I, I seem to find that's a little bit easier for me, considering I'm not used to mouse and keyboard. Let's look at the Centel, see what they got for us. You all know El Yayo, highest ranking Bolivian in the Santa Blanca cartel and their head of cocaine production. But you may not know his grandson, Gonzalo Yana, a.k.a. El Emisario, the Emissary. Yayo taught Emisario everything he knows. How to produce the best polvo in all of South America, how to maintain relationships with the local Bolivians, and most importantly, how to serve your Santa Blanca masters. Emisario looks up to Yayo, would do anything to honor him, to make him proud which is exactly what makes El Emisario the perfect target. His greatest fear is shaming his grandfather. If we hit his coke operation in Okoro, he'll come running back to fix things. That's when we grab him. With a little luck, he'll give us everything we need to know about dear old grandpa. All right, You all know El Yayo, okay. highest ranking Bolivian. Same thing. It just was saying still new up in the Kingslayer files. Thought of something new. All right. Let's see. I'm going up here. Yeah, but like I was saying, I'm using my Xbox One controller for uh, driving abilities and mouse and keyboard for on foot until I can get used to it. Mouse and keyboard that is.
your eyes yourselves with Bowman's briefing on Santa Blanca's coke production pipeline. People at the top are El Yayo and La Gringa. Yayo's Bolivian, an ex-cocalero turned cocaine producer. Gringa seems to be a disgraced chemist. She used to work for an NGO here in Bolivia before joining up with the cartel. All right, let's see what this says. El Yayo was born amidst the Bolivian coca. His mother carried him on her back until he was old enough to go to work for himself. For decades, Yayo picked the leaves, fingers blistered, back aching, feet bleeding. But never in all that time did he once extract the alkaloids to make cocaine. To Yayo, the coca leaf was an ancient tradition, going back 8,000 years, a medicine, a culture, una planta sagrada. Of course, the Americanos had a different opinion. They called it Plan Dignidad, the Dignity Plan. Although Yayo was no more than a farmer, un cocalero, his world was left in ruins. With no other means available, he was forced to do the one thing that he vowed never to do. He was forced to produce cocaine. In the end, the Americans' efforts to stop cocaine production created one of the greatest cocaine producers to ever live. One second, guys. El Yayo was born amidst the Bolivian coca. His mother carried him on her back until he was old enough to go to work for himself. I don't know why I'm showing that still. Sorry. I just don't like everything showing new. That way, you know, looking at old stuff when it's saying new on the uh the screen Okay, so I think we need to go up this mountain here.
deploying drone. Marking a captain. I see a second target. Tango number three. I got a target carrying submachine guns. I got another. That's five. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Stay quiet. Hostiles in the ruins. Engaging tangos. Good. We all in one piece? There's a cartel medal over here. It's gonna break some poor thug's heart to lose this. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later. We got a 20 in the garage where Polito parks his sports car. We snag that, we snag his GPS. Maybe something there tells us where he and his girlfriend are. Give me one second.
Just making sure the stream's good. I mean, it should be good because, uh, like I said, I got fiber optic internet. I got 500 megabits per second up and 500 megabits down. So I should be within that threshold. grab this chopper over here and uh, I'll pilot I'm on Let's see where we're going. I was just figuring out how the the mini map got that color instead of that way. Uh, let's see. Uh, where the heck do we want to go? Get this weapon here. Does it tell us under barrel critical four grip? We'll we'll grab that. I'm looking over here because looking at the stream, it's like a five to seven second delay and it's throwing me off because I'm trying to record this video on 1440p. So I guess doing that is a delay. Spotting another tango. All right. So we're gonna land up here. See if we can get a downward view on these guys. I got one narco near the ruins. Makes five. It's a lot of enemies here. So we got to be careful. Brings us to ten. One more over here. Somewhere. Ah, uh, there he is. Alright, so I'm going to try to take that guy out 
And then I'm like, we're good, we're good. Get that guy. Tango knows oh, somebody's shit. got a beat on him. Hopefully you don't shoot the gun and give our position away. Keep it quiet. They know we're here. Shit, they're headed this way. What should we do? That's fucked up. These guys are getting hung in here. That's crazy. This guy. Shit. There's a guy here on me. I think my teammate got him. All right, this guy came out. So we're gonna... Fucking hell! All right. It's taken care of. Uh, let's see if we can get this guy right here. Got him. Take the helicopter down. They're gonna be on top of us in another few seconds. What do we do? Oh shit, shit. I got another. That's fine. Looks like more Sicarios want to get some. Alright, uh, so. Jesus, you. Oh, shit. Yeah. I got eyes in a weapons case. I've been wanting one of these.
So I'm not for sure how long I'm gonna stream for. Uh, I'm thinking like two and three hours is a little long. Um, thinking about maybe like hour streams. I'm gonna try to like um, prepare myself to do like just upcoming streams. That way, you know, it's not just out of the blue. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. What else is there? This one here. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. Damn, I hate uh, we lost that helicopter. So let me let me see where we do have another chopper over here. So um, that looks like a valley here. So we would have to go all the way down and then all the way back up to get to there. So. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we got everything here. All right. Let's let's grab this vehicle. Which way we have to go? Let's I'm not sure. Uh, I think we'll just head on down there to the other. Uh, uh, not that far. We'll go right here. Roll. What was that? Yeah, guys, I don't know if I'm getting sick or if it was from doing the construction work this weekend in the house, but I was doing some drywall work and I'm feeling kind of stuffy for some reason.
join us. Scrap this. I think this is helpful for like getting items, unlocking items and Is that a box over there? Cartel soldiers up ahead. Yep. We can try to get around them or deal Let's with them head get on. That. I'm cool. Let's move. Okay, we're getting close. Yeah, I know I passed the mission because I want to get this skill point first, which it probably doesn't matter if I'm even going right. I'm not sure. Yeah. Looks like a terrible idea. Hmm. Uh, let's see. All right. Maybe take this this guy out first. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. Deploy our drone. The drone is up. Let's see what's going on up here. Sniper up in the tower.
Got another tango. I got a third target. Here's target number five. I'm not sure how many more guys are. Let's see. I think when we get higher ground, we can. But we have to be careful for our left. So. Guy there, but I just don't want to shoot them and they see me and then call in reinforcements. So, uh, let's see how we're going to do this. Alright, so bust him, bust him, bust him, got him, see if we can get this guy, alright, I think we're still good. I'm opening fire on these shitheads. Got him, okay, oh shit. Are they coming? Where are they at? All right, so I'm gonna grab this real quick. I hope I don't die doing this. Hmm, let's drop down over here on this crate. Okay. Let's see if we can grab this and get the hell out of here real quick before they get to us. Let's see. Forgot this. A todas las unidades, comiencen el ataque. Ammo. Damn, how'd I miss that? Estamos bajo el fuego de armas enemigas y no sabemos cuántos son. Ya vienen en camino tropas de apoyo. Alright. I need a semi semi-automatic gun or sniper. We need to probably get the freak out of here because the purple dots up here is two now, so let's grab this dirt mic and oh, oh yeah. Alright, I think we're good. Now we'll hit this, uh, this story. Let's 
check this out real quick. Hemos localizado la última posición conocida del enemigo. Pero han desaparecido. Comenzando una nueva búsqueda ahora mismo. Alright, so there's our mission, so... The cartel's gonna hit this place hard once that transmission starts. That was fucking close. Alright, so what's this? Okay, so when I very first did my very first mission, I think I remember this one. Uh it's like some kind of emitter. That we got to protect. So, let's see. Defend the radio. Alright. So let's see what we need to do now. Um, let's get these documents here. Heads up, Santa Blanca's here. Acaben con el enemigo. Assholes are coming this way. 
Uh, uh, oh shit. You know that? Ain't no joke. All right, let's take care of these guys who are listening to this recording afterwards. Probably need to get the hell out of here since they called in. Calling in back up. Maybe we'll be okay. Let's go in here. Chill out for a minute. minute. Let's mark that and grab a car. The helicopter just makes traveling so much easier. Out of the I car, hope. now. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Hang on, I'll drive. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's grab this van. This I'm in. Let's roll. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea, guys. We was just here. Yes, we was. I don't know if that was the lag or not, or I hope my stream's still good. Felt a little laggy for a second. Check, guys, real quick. One second. I apologize. Status. It says everything's good, so hopefully it's good.
you. It just felt laggy again. Damn it. I'll fly. All right, so we're going to head to, we're going to do this. This right here, and we'll probably end the stream there because we're, we're reaching like an hour. 54 minutes, so we'll do this. We're good. This document mentions an Unidad captain who sends prisoners to Yuri and Kido for interrogations. He's got to know where our lovebirds are, but he's sitting in an Unidad firebase. Crank it. All right, let's see. Let's grab this weapons case right here. We'll get a uh, MT-121 machine gun. That'll be helpful. Yeah, we'll cook with that. Check this spot out for intel. Oh, hot pickle, baby. Came at hot pickle. Okay. Check it out, weapons case. Got lucky and got another chopper right there, so that's a plus. This will go nice with my boots. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, I also got some uh, some better headphones. Uh, only thing is, I need to get a longer, like an extension cable for it because where my PC is, the cable's a little short, so limited on movement. Okay, so I think I'm going to end the stream here. It's been right at one hour, so I'm going to end the stream here, and I'll pick back up, and we'll, we'll start El Polito, Polito Sports Car. We'll go there and do that mission in the next episode. Um, I just want to say before I end the stream, thank you guys that are watching the video and I appreciate it. Uh, if you want to help support me, I have an eBay, my eBay link down in the description. Uh, shoot me a message if you visit my store and, and want to purchase something, shoot me a message, work out a little deal or something. Uh, but with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Peace.